Mortgage rates, what's happening? In this video, I will discuss my mortgage rate predictions for 2024. So, as we know, mortgage rates increased dramatically over the last year or so, but what about 2024? What do we think mortgage rates will look like? At the moment, we're sitting at somewhere between four to 5%. For your high street rates, depending whether you're putting a deposit of 25% down or 5%. For specialist mortgage lenders, if you've got some adverse credit or one year's self-employed trading history, then you're probably going to pay around 1% to 2% on top of that. Mortgage rates have settled down now, and I think where we are now is where we're going to stay for a little while, maybe until the next inflation update. As soon as inflation starts coming down, rates will naturally come down. But apart from inflation, is there anything else that can affect mortgage rates? A good indicator at what may happen to mortgage rates is to monitor what is known as swap rates. For simple terms, a swap rate is a rate based on what the markets think interest rates will be in the future. So banks and lenders use the swap rate as a reference when pricing their own fixed rate mortgage products for borrowers. The swap rate represents the cost at which mortgage lenders can borrow funds on the wholesale market for the duration of the mortgage term. If swap rates are low, fixed rate mortgages may be more attractive as they can lock in a stable interest rate for a longer period. Now, swap rates have fluctuated and in recent times gone up a little bit, which tells me that the market is very unpredictable and the increase is to put a little bit of a buffer as no one knows with clarity how things are going to pan out. Things are certainly looking a lot better than they were towards the second part of last year. And with a 5% deposit, you can now get rates at under 5%, which is great. You can also get adverse credit mortgages with a 5% deposit as well. So things are definitely looking more flexible. You may be wondering what type of mortgage product to go for, and this is of course individual to your own circumstances. The two options you have is either to go for a fixed rate or the second, a variable rate. A fixed rate mortgage will give you a rate and monthly payments that do not change for a certain period of time, typically two years, three years, five years, and sometimes more. A variable rate could go up and could go down, usually in line with the Bank of England movements or the lender's own variable rate. A variable rate is of course more of a risk, but sometimes has benefits that a fixed rate doesn't, such as not being tied in. The large majority of mortgage applications that we submit are on fixed rate products, but that doesn't mean a fixed rate product is right for you. It's just the most common option as a preferred choice for most people when looking at mortgage rates and products from a numbers perspective. Now, if you'd like to look at your mortgage options and what mortgage rates are applicable to your situation, just book in using the link in the corner of the screen or at the end of the video by clicking the Mortgage Chain logo. At Mortgage Chain, we are very focused on the customer services journey for you and we will find the right mortgage lender for you first time and see you through every step of the way from the beginning until you've got those keys in your hand. Mortgage warning. As a mortgage is secured against your home, it could be repossessed if you do not keep up the mortgage repayments. So thanks for watching today's video. Please check out the show notes for a recap with access to any links discussed today. And if you like this video and feel like you're getting value, please consider subscribing and ringing the bell to receive notifications so we can carry on providing you with value. Have a beautiful day. I'll see you in the next one.